hello and welcome to another unboxing I have just got the Batman complete television series the 1960s series and I was I was so excited I actually had to rip the box open right away before I even got the camera on I, I, I didn't go too far I, I, I restrained myself I really must not have done much reading into what actually is in this box even just by looking at the little sticker on the outside of the shrink wrap there are 44 vintage trading cards in here which I don't know what I'm gonna do with but that's still really cool and I like trinkets and stuff so also digital HD with ultraviolet 120 episodes only none of the special features but I'm really excited about that because I I did not think that this would come with a digital copy. I, I don't know why. Maybe I just thought that uh, TV shows don't often do that. So, oh, this thing. That's it. I'm super, super excited to tear into this. Not only tear into it, but I'm super excited to actually be able to watch through this again. Uh, I have not watched these since must have been must have been the 90s I remember waking up Saturday mornings and running upstairs and I would actually record I would put in the VCR tape I had the blank tapes and I would always get them from the store and I would put the VCR tape in and I would set the recording to record automatically where I would run up and wake up early to be up I think by 6 a.m. which is super early when you're a little kid now it's like normal I would start recording and it was always on FX I remember that because there was an antique show on right before it so I got to learn a lot about antiques too and I never pursued antiques after the antique show always came the Batman series so I had all these VHS tapes and I still do I'm sure at home in a box somewhere I have all the VHS tapes of probably almost every single episode of Batman but I have not watched a VHS tape since probably 2001 or so so this is super exciting for me that I actually get to watch this series again. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. So I'm not even sure where to begin opening. Um, oh hey, it says press here. That is so cool. These things... You, I understand I, I understand the purpose behind these backers, so like if it's in the store you can read it and see what's inside and everything on the back. Um, I really hate these things because I never, I never want to throw them away, so I end up putting them in a box somewhere and never looking at them again. I have a ton of them from box sets and I just, I never throw them away. There is a replica Hot Wheels Batmobile in there, which I'm going to put on a shelf. And on the bottom here, it says Hot Wheels replica Batmobile for ages A and up. The DVD is not a toy. You ever wonder what had to happen to necessitate a warning like that? Were people mistaken? Did they think DVDs were frisbees or something? If you've ever thrown a CD, you know how much fun that is. Also, we have a limited edition number on the bottom, so this actually is limited quote-unquote limited edition sets I think we see a lot but I feel like the term limited edition is thrown around a lot especially when it comes to um, special edition movie uh, or TV sets because really what does limited edition mean does it mean it's only being produced for a short amount of time or is it just a keyword like HD that we use to really get people to buy into a product. I like when I actually see a number listed because that tells me that there's only 95,000 copies of these. Now I have 10,502, uh, which means I assume that 10,500 roughly people have bought this before me. It came out in, when was it? October, November, I believe. Um, and I didn't buy it in the fall, even though I I, try, I really wanted to, but I didn't buy it in the fall. I held off because my birthday's in late October and Christmas was coming in December and this was the only thing I really wanted and I was hoping that someone would get it for me. I didn't get it, so I waited for the price to drop and I actually hit it when it was the gold box deal of the day on Amazon a week or two ago. Uh, and I'm super excited that I did that because I actually think I got a pretty good deal on it. I have no idea how to open this and I really... I don't want to force anything because I'm afraid I might rip or break something. Oh, here we go. It's magnets. It's magnetic. 
Okay. Uh, it says the Adam West scrapbook. Okay, I'm going to tip this a bit here. So we have the Adam West scrapbook. Um, we have our Hot Wheels car. This is actually kind of like a faux felt sort of thing. Um, and we have our trading cards. And it says 44 cards. Um, and on the back we just got the Batman symbol again. Um, I'm really liking the presentation of this so far. Let's take a look at this. Oh, and there's an episode guide underneath that. So this is scrapbook. Very, very stiff. It feels like really good. Wow. Very stiff. I feel like I'm going to break this thing. But, um, looks like some cool behind the scenes pictures. That's, uh, yeah. I think our Batman had to be fun, lighthearted, funny, tongue-in-cheek, and I think that paid homage to those earlier comic books. So um, that'll be a fun thing to look through. And then it looks like we have an episode guide. Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3. It's really interesting that this show only ran for three seasons. I feel like with 120, 120 episodes in three seasons... Has any show this decade done that? Greetings, citizens. Over and over again I've been asked, when is the Blu-ray coming out? Sometimes it shouted at me. Well, here it is at last, in all its pristine splendor, the classic Batman television series. Little did I know as a kid growing up on a wheat farm in the Northwest that our performances and the work of all those contributing to Batman would produce this classic of pop culture. For me, running around on film in Cape and Cal doing rather strange, square-jawed things was much like playing Batman as a kid. The great difference being tongue planted firmly in cheek. Yes, it is a comedy, but certainly not to kids. And so, over 40 years later, here is my happy invitation for you and the whole family to enjoy this fine Blu-ray of the first and the historic twice-a-week in-color Batman TV series. Bet to see anyone, signed Adam West. I know Adam West wasn't the producer of this series, but that certainly makes it sound like he was the one who did all this. I, I wonder... Now I'm going to have to dig a little more and find out how involved Adam West actually was. Now we enter my love and hate... love-hate relationship with deluxe package type thingies, because this is going to look really cool on a shelf. It's not going to fit very well on the shelf with all the rest of my movies, because obviously this is an odd size. And in order to get to any of these, I'm going to have to open it up and pull this little tap. Oh, goodness. This is... It's very well constructed, but you can see it's a little awkward. Oh, good. It's not all one big accordion. It actually looks like it's split into seasons. So we got season one, season two, and you'll notice these are all like the pop artwork here. Wow. Season two had 60 episodes in it. We got... Le Joker. Batgirl. Gotta love the artwork there. Oh, and way at the bottom, here is our Ultraviolet. I cannot express how excited I am to actually watch through this whole series again. And I'm, I'm certain my wife has never seen this series, so I'm sure she's going to watch it now say, wow, this is pretty stupid, which I'm hoping she doesn't, um, because this is, I, I'm hoping that it meets my expectations, um, and uh, that I'm still, I still have as much fun with it as I did when I was little. I also hope that my daughter, who is now almost 10 months old, I hope that she gets to start out with Batman like I did, because this, this really was the first on-screen Batman that I knew was Adam West. And that sounds really weird because, you know, I was born in the late 80s, so obviously I didn't grow up watching the 1960 series when it was on TV, but this is one of, really, the first Batman on screen that I knew. I didn't watch the Michael Keaton Batman um, when it came out. I think the first Batman movie I saw in theaters was actually Batman and Robin with George Clooney, and we all know how awesome awesome yeah that was and i remember the uh the 90s uh tv series the batman the animated series and uh, the new batman adventures and that that was really where i picked up batman and my batman fandom really started this is still 
the first Batman I knew. I'm excited that now with this Blu-ray edition, this can also be the first Batman that my daughter knows. So maybe she will grow into as big of a Batman fan as her father one day. I already have the pink Batman suit. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Please leave me any questions in the comments down below. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Yeah. If you are looking for me, you'll know where to find me for the next uh, 120 hours or so. Classic Penguin, classic Riddler, Julie Newmar as a Catwoman, um, Cesar Romero as the Joker. Before, before we go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to open these cards here. We'll see what we got. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we got to the back cave. Penned by the penguin. I don't remember this episode, so we we really need to go watch this because apparently the Riddler is trying to brand Robin with a question mark. Okay, Frank Gorshin. The Batarang. Whoosh.